Lori Lightfoot, the mayor of Chicago, literally said, if you're a reporter who is not of color, which is the, what is it, the BIPOC community, which is uh, black indigenous people of color, if you're not BIPOC, you can't interview me for whatever this historic um, anniversary was. And she also said, I can get my hair done. You cannot because I'm more important than you. She literally says, I'm more important than you. That's a paraphrase. The actual quote was something to the effect of, I'm on TV all the time representing the city. I need to look good. In other words, you don't need to look good because you're not as important as I am. She is the modern day Marie Antoinette. You can eat cake. Let them eat cake while I eat the steak. I mean, this is what she's doing. And now Lori Lightfoot, it turns out, is a bully. Nobody saw that coming. First of all, Carrie, how did we get this email? Um, that is a good question. Uh, I guess the Chicago Tribune there you go. obtained it somehow. Wow. The Tribune um, must be tired of it. And again... Oh, through a Freedom of Information Act request, okay. actually. The Chicago, yeah. the Chicago Tribune is not necessarily a, a right-wing paper, but one of the outlets that was told, if you're not black or, or Hispanic or brown or whatever, then you can interview her. And and this is how the media can can hit back at them. Do me a favor. Give me this story so people understand the context of how uh, r- ridiculous it is this woman even is anywhere near the mayor's office. From the blaze, a bullying email that Democratic Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot sent to her then scheduler in January, in which the mayor demanded more office time and repeated sentences over and over, has drawn comparisons to a creepy scene from iconic horror film The Shining, the Chicago Tribune reported. At the paper obtained the email and a separate angry missive, which includes an attached photo of ripped up documents through a Freedom of Information Act request. Uh, Lightfoot's first email shown above begins with a single sentence. Since my prior requests for office time are routinely ignored, I am now resorting to this. And that's followed by five paragraphs, each containing a single sentence repeated multiple times. I need office time every day. Lightfoot wrote 16 times in a row in one paragraph, followed by another in which she wrote not just once a week or some days, every day, a total of 10 times in a row. It went on with breaks or transition times between meetings or not office time, repeated seven times in a row in another paragraph. Then if this doesn't change immediately, I will just start unilaterally canceling things every day, written five times in a row. Lightfoot ended her screed by asking, have I made myself clear finally, repeated 13 times times in a row. The Tribune said some observers compared Lightfoot's email to the shining scene in which Shelley Duvall's character discovered hundreds of typed book manuscript pick pages by her now insane husband, Jack Nicholson, that contained nothing but the phrase, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy repeated over and over again. I mean, is she immature? Is she a child? Is she a bully? I don't, what, what is that? And this person who is that juvenile, is running one of the largest cities in the greatest land on the planet? Really? And again, people are willing to look past the fact that she's a stark raving racist about who can interview her. People were willing to look past the fact that, that she had to get her hair done and nobody else in the city can. People even look past the fact that so many people die on the streets of Chicago every day as she does nothing except restrict the ability of police to do something about it. And now we add this to it? I mean, what does a really bad politician have to do to no longer be a politician? I mean, we know it's happening to Gavin Newsom. He's being recalled. And I hope that the recall is successful and he's gone. What are they doing in Chicago? The streets of Chicago are some of the most dangerous on the planet. And you've got somebody who's in the office who's writing emails like a child, writing 5, 10, or 13 times the same sentence over and over again in in some sort of a strange way to mismanage her, her, her crew.